looking forward to it. Huge first game, uh, you know, momentum uh, is so important. Uh, you win your first game, you know, your confidence and self belief of the players, uh, you know. But you know what we've gone through in Rugby World Cup with injuries, Andrew and uh, and is and, and how we sort of uh, the players were able to adapt and, and apply themselves. Uh, I got no doubt Ireland will do exactly the same. Uh, sort of uh, gives you, you know, a, a, a stronger belief in yourself to go out and uh, you know prove other people wrong. We're going to a place which obviously we experienced two years ago. Uh, and it wasn't a pleasant experience and you remember those moments, you remember the day and uh, I know we've gone back there since in terms of Rugby World Cup friendly but uh, there's no uh, better place to start than uh, the Aviva Stadium with uh, an island team obviously uh, going out to play some good rugby. We've spoken about uh, what we can influence and what we can control, and uh, it's about dictating the speed of the, the speed of the game, and dictating who controls the game in the areas which we need to. So uh, that's what we've focused on over the last sort of ten days since being in camp. We look forward to playing Ireland. I think the landscape is no different. Well, it's very different to other teams when we play. I think there'll be a lot of kicking on the weekend. I think the aerial battle is going to be key. Uh, you know, as Paul mentioned in terms of the counter attack. You know, uh, you know, both Connor and Johnny are fairly, if they are selected, pretty accurate kickers. And it's about the challenge, you mean, it's dominating the air, winning the aerial battle. And we've done that on the last two occasions which we've played. And I think, you know, we, we'll have to be accurate in, those, in that area if we are going to come away with uh, a win on the weekend. Because I'm certainly there'll be a fair number of kicks on Sunday afternoon.